Hi YouTube and welcome back to Miss Taylor's channel. As you can tell by the title today, we'll be talking about the Makeup Show Chicago. The Makeup Show ran on June 12th and 13th, which was a Sunday and a Monday. I went on the um, 12th, which was a Sunday. The Makeup Show is an all pro event for all people in the beauty industry, make whether it be makeup, hair, or other beauty related um, careers or professions. So I went, me and my, I went with my best friend, um, Shakria, who's also up and coming in the makeup, um, makeup world, I guess you could say. So just a little bit about the makeup show. Um, like I said, it was an all pro event and they had different, um, keynote speakers. They had little seminars just to teach you, uh, more about makeup. They also had exhibitors who had booths that were selling their products. So some of the, um... Some of the companies that had booths at the makeup show were um, Inglot. Let's look at the list. Inglot, just to name a few, because there were a lot. There were there were two floors, so there were a lot. But just to name a few, we had Inglot, Alcon, um, Makeup Forever, Mac, Mayron, Motives, Temp2 Pro, Stila, Crown Brush, Graftobian. Um, I said Makeup Forever, OCC, Smashbox, Yabby, E Saint Laurent, just a lot of them. So there were a lot of people there. Some of the keynote speakers that they had included Sam Fine, Reggie Wells, Maurice Stein, and some more people. So I didn't really get a chance to um, partake in the seminars and the keynote speakers as, as much as, as I would have liked to because I had to attend a graduation the same day so i really just went to grab products at the discounted price and then um run run out to the um graduation so i just grabbed a few things at the makeup show i didn't really get a lot but because i had set set myself a budget and um i actually did not go over my budget so i was happy about that but just did just wanted to show you all what i purchased at the makeup show Okay, first I went to Nigel's Beauty Emporium. From Nigel's, I got, they had lashes 7 for 10. So I got seven, seven different pairs of lashes. I got the G66. Number 217. G46, G117, 106, 605, and last but not least, 523. So I got the seven lashes for $10. I also got me a mixing plate, a small mixing plate to mix foundations and lip glosses or whatever I want to mix. So I got the mixing plate for $4 and I also got a spatula for 4 I believe it was $4. Yeah, it was. I got disposable mascara wands and disposable lip, um, lip brushes for my kit. And I also got this makeup um, remover. I went, I specifically went to Nigel so that I can get this brush cleaner. I can't, I don't know the name of it. Pardon spirit, maybe something P with the spirit, P spirit, something like that. That a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube rave about. So I went for that, but when I went over there, they didn't have it. So I asked the gentleman, I said, you know, where is the other makeup remover? And he said that they didn't have it or they weren't carrying it at the makeup show. But what they did have with this was this Monda Studio Professional Makeup Brush Cleaner. So he told me to try it out and if I didn't like it to go on the website. I don't even know if they have a website, but. That's all I got from Nigel's. Next, I went over to OCC, Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. I'm really, I've really been interested in their um, lip tars for a while now. So I was excited that they were there. Their lip tars were selling for $10 a piece. Online right now, they're $13 a piece. So I was obviously excited about that. I only got three. I got this light, light pink color here in Hush. I got this hot pink color in anime 
and I always wanted a blue color. Now that I'm going to wear the blue out and be that outrageous, but I can use it to mix with something else to make a custom color. So I got the blue lip tar in RX. And these lip tars, if you don't know, they go a little goes a long way. You just got the little squeezy tube there, so a little goes, look at that. That will be enough for whatever I wanted to use it for. So since it's on there and I want to wipe it away, I'll wipe it away and, oh, I just squeezed the tube again, so. All right. This is the lip tar. Just, I'll do a swatch because it's already on. So those are the only thing I got from OCC. Next, I went to Yabby Cosmetics. I've heard um, a lot about Yabby and their eyeshadows. I heard they were, they were really pigmented. I first saw Yabby shadows in Beat Face Honey, one of her videos that wasn't that far back, but she did a look with, I think it was had a yellow, it had some vibrant color in it. The pigmentation was great. So I said, okay, I'm gonna give me some Yabby. Online, the, the eyeshadows are $3.15. At the makeup show, they were two for five. I know I should have indulged and got a whole lot more, but I really didn't want, maybe I didn't want to stand at the booth and get and just swatch and pick colors. So I just got colors that I wanted, like as far as bright colors. So I only got four. So like I said, they were two for ten, two for five. So I got Tropical Dusk, which was a, a, like a blue with the little shimmers in it. Club Green. Just orange and pure yellow. So that's all I got from Yabby. I went on over to Crown Brush. Crown Brush had a long, long table, a lot of tables put together to make one long spread. They had um, their uh, makeup brush sets all the way at the end of the table and in the the rest of the table in between was different boxes. Each box had a different brush in it. They had it set up by the line of brushes, whether it be the Studio or the Studio Pro or the Italian Badger line, just different lines were set up um, that way. So I got in line because it was a long line. It's like you get in line and then you just wait for the line to progress down to the rest of the table. So I got in at the beginning of the line and I slowly went down the line and picked the brushes that I wanted. I didn't really see a lot of brushes that I saw online that I wanted. Maybe I overlooked them because there were a lot of brushes. It was like kind of overwhelming. But I did get a few brushes that I been wanting to get for a while now. But first, before I got into the line for the brushes, I got me this makeup, um, this brush belt. So that I've been wanting, needing the brush belt rather. So I got this brush belt. This brush belt was $10. I think it's 12 online, maybe. So I got that and I got five brushes. This one doesn't have a name on it, but it's a blending brush, an eyeshadow blending brush. It's a little softer than I would, would like it to be, but I haven't tried, I haven't used any of these brushes, so I'll try them out and I'll let you know how that goes. This one is out of the plastic, but they were all in plastic. I think I lost the plastics. Um, this is the C142, the chisel blush brush. The C404 small duo face brush. And when I got this, what I had in mind for this was um, my highlight. So I got this for the highlight. The brush that I got was the C409, the angled definer. And the last brush was the C432 flat line, line definer. So those are the five brushes that I got. And the five brushes and the, was the brush belt. I went to, or well, I went over to Graftobian. My best friend went over to Graftobian, and uh, she came back with two palettes. So I went over there and I purchased one, the high definition color palette. 
I got mine in warm three. Yeah, warm three. And these are the five colors. That was $20, I believe. And lastly, I went over to Mayron. They had some uh, ladies, a lady over there, like they were doing body painting and all that other stuff. So I went over there and because I saw these glitters and they were only $4, so I went over to grab these three glitters. This purple one here is Mardi Gras purple. I don't want to spill. Mardi Gras purple. Silver. And just blue. Those glitters were $4 a piece. And I got these face smoothies, which is like a face sponge. I got two of those because I plan on giving one away. So I got two face smoothies is what they call them. That's all I got from um, from Mayron. And then Lit Cosmetics. Yeah, Lit Cosmetics. They had glitters as well. When I went over there to inquire about their glitters before I bought the Mayron glitters, I asked them how much they were. They told me they were $10 a piece. And, um, which I believe the product was less than what's in here. Don't quote me. I'm not sure. But they told me that the glitters were $10. And they had um, glitter glue. They had a bigger one. I asked, you know, how much is the glitter glue? And she said $15 or something. And then they had these little ones. And I said, well, how much are these? Because I've never used glitter or glitter glue. So I just really wanted something to try it out. And she told me they was free. I think they were free with the purchase. But she just ended up giving them to me. To me and my friend. My friend gave me hers. So I got two little sample size glitter glues. And then the last thing that I actually purchased. Which I don't have anything physical to show. Which I, was I went over to Mac. And registered for my Mac Pro card. I'm excited about that. Can you tell? No. <laughs> I went up there and registered for my Mac Pro card, which was $35 for the Mac Pro card where you get 40% off all Mac products or all your Mac purchases, 40% off. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, they, I signed up and paid my $35 and they said that my car should be coming in the mail within six weeks. So it's been a week, week and a half maybe. So I'm continuing to wait and I'm really going to start, um, as soon as I get my Mac Pro card, I'm going to apply to some more um, pro discount programs with other companies like Inglot. I got the um, the application for Inglot. I'm going to try makeup forever. Whoever has a professional or makeup discount, I will try to apply for those. I think I applied for... I'm not sure who I... I sent the email to OCC. I know that much. But I'm going to try to apply to all the pro, all the pro programs that I can. Um, also c coming up is I'm going to be putting together a website and I'm going to be doing a photo shoot just strictly for my makeup. So yeah, portfolio, I mean a website, no, a photo shoot strictly for my makeup and so I can put together, get prints and put together a portfolio to better show my work. So that's all up and coming for Ebony um, really, really soon. So that's really all for my, for my haul, for my makeup show talk. And I had got a few booklets, a Mayron book, the product guide. It tells you the product. It doesn't tell you the price. I guess you can call or go online to purchase your um, purchase your products. I also got a Motives book with their products in it. I'm going to be checking them out and just some makeup cards and stuff like that. But that's all for my haul. Thank you all for watching. Um, make sure you comment rate comment and subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for watching again bye